why people might be emotionally stuck or feel emotionally stuck. Dr. John Omedio, he makes a very good point. Oftentimes when people are emotionally stuck, it's because they might be defensive. Now, why might somebody be defensive? Usually shame or guilt. If you're experiencing shame or guilt about the feelings, the experience that you've had, you might go into that yelling mode, especially if someone's trying to advise you and they're not validating you. Shame and guilt oftentimes comes with an inability to maybe take responsibility for your part in something because it's like that song by Radiohead, Just, and they say you do it to yourself, you do, and that's why it really hurts. Oftentimes, when we experience deep pain within that realm, we might be able to find something that we didn't do so well, and now we feel guilt and shame about it. But on the other side of the coin, there are these factors that can be outside of us that we couldn't control. And maybe we accept that, but we are emotionally stuck and that might be why we might be in that victim mode where we can't come outside of ourselves and say, yes, this happened to me and it wasn't my fault. But how I'm reacting to it is not healthy for me. So what can I do to problem solve and get out of this victim mindset? It's okay to accept that something traumatic happened to you. But at some point, it's like, well, what can you do moving forward? You can't change what happened. What can you learn from that situation? Now, some people might say, what if my trauma is someone robbed me? What can I learn from that situation? Well, it's very unfair that someone robbed you. It's definitely harmful and hurtful, and you might feel very violated. But maybe you might say, okay, I know I got robbed around this time in this area. How might I safeguard it? Maybe you might start planning on a different mode of transportation to get to where you were going. For instance, I live here in Chicago. It doesn't matter what neighborhood you live in. After a certain hour, especially when you're by the train stop, there's just people who like to pickpocket, who rob people. And so something that I've always told my spouse, my husband, is if you're going to leave work past a certain time, hey, I'll just pick you up because I don't want you to get robbed. Does it mean that every time that he takes the train or he takes a mode of public transportation or he's walking at a certain hour, he's going to get robbed? No. However, I know if I pick him up from work and he rides in the car with me, that he's less likely to get robbed. So that's kind of how we work together to sort of problem solve. Now, if he were to get robbed, most certainly that would be traumatic. And he might engage in some defensiveness if I were to suggest to him right away, hey, honey, you know, why don't you let me pick you up from work? Because he's feeling guilt and shame about the fact that he chose to take public transportation and he got robbed. You know, he didn't think about maybe just having me pick him up. 